Live from the Thomas and Mack Center, it's the State Farm USA Basketball Challenge. And this evening, USA Blue taking on the USA White team. We've got eight on one side, nine on the other. As you saw as they introduced all 20 players, 17 available, including that young man. And he was not there, as I mentioned at the top of the telecast last year because of knee surgery during the offseason. But, boy, is he looking forward to Beijing in 2008. LeBron James coming off his first NBA Finals appearance. Has he ever grown physically, mentally? You can see, especially from a physical standpoint, there, Kobe Bryant leading the way for USA Blue. Well, what a backcourt. Darren Williams, Kirk Heinrich, two of the best young guards in the NBA. And down to the baseline, Carmelo Anthony in the swing. And Amari Stoudemire in the middle from the Phoenix Suns. For the white side, LeBron James, flanked by Chris Bosch and Dwight Howard, some muscles out lower there. Jason Kidd, who's always made everybody around him look exceptional with Mike Miller. And Mike Miller, the last guy to leave practice yesterday, one of the best ropes. A guy that has really grown over the last three, four years. And Nate McMillan's going to be coaching that side. We watched the scrimmage yesterday, had, but he's doing the big one, the full practice and scrimmage as it's an air ball from LeBron. Inside, offhand, Bosch can't get the finish. And on the run, Kirk Heinrich. The lob down low and an early dunk for Amari Stoudemire. As I mentioned, Dreamland, all-stars out there, guys that have won NBA rings. But there's only one out there with a gold medal, Mike Miller. I pump him up, he's a little flat. And Chris Bosch cleans it up underneath. Court not as long in FIBA competition. Kobe, early offense for the blue. Carmelo Anthony with a good look. And he came out a little bit late. And the blue... Early and hot at 6-2. to two. Fast and furious, Kobe popped it away from LeBron James. And another turnover. Well, to put some back on, maybe before I tell him, Mike Miller. 0 for 2 inside position. And Dwight Howard elevates just a little for the dunk. I think this is going to be dominated by Lakers. Kobe Bryant off the glass, picked up by Jason Kidd. The kid must love this. What a look for LeBron James. One of the great guards in NBA history, Jason Kidd. Only a couple of guys have more triple doubles than him. Well, an observation for Mike Krzyzewski. And we talked about it. Finding the right combinations, rotations, chemistry. Bosch, will he get it? He does! Spectacular play. Fouled by Kobe. Chris Bosch stayed with it. And it's going to be a double dribble. That he, and he actually palmed the basketball because he wanted to use Kobe as a decoy a little bit too much. <laughs> it stays out for Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> You had your chance. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> LeBron slams it home. Just find him on the run. Amari with the left hand. Darren Williams with the nifty inside look to him. And I think one of the things that they're trying to do when and they carry it forward into the tournament is to play quicker. Not allow the opponent to get a chance to dig in defensively. They've got enough people that can pass it, that can cut, that can shoot it to where they should have easy scoring opportunities for everybody that plays. Quick first step. Carmelo Anthony on the finish. Go for Mike Miller on a play like that. And they just happen to be matched up, so we'll, we'll find out whether Mike Miller gets a chance to get even. LeBron. LeBron. Step back. Dice jammer in the game now. James wanted to go back that way. He'll stay with the three, though. And won't get the roll as Chandler clears it out. One of the leading rebounders in the league last year, Tyson Chandler. On the run, Kobe. And Stoudemire thought he was going to go up. And said he'll take the two-hander. And Jason Kidd saw that all the way. Behind the back, LeBron James! How much fun is it to watch Jason get on the floor with LeBron James? Little zone action? No. Not yet, but Team USA is going to see zone. Batting A all over Kobe. Kobe gets it anyway. Well, that's when Kobe's most dangerous is when you're all over him. And, and you know, Kobe brings an element to uh, USA basketball where there's one guy who can get a shot against anybody in any situation. It's Kobe. Anthony goes right by. Chauncey Phillips, who didn't have a prayer. But we saw Michael Red go for 53, go for 57. So everybody knows in the league how much he can fill it up. And well, a no. shooter just keeps going. The shot is getting better and better. It's a looking like he knows what he's doing. Kobe. Kobe behind his back. That would have brought the house down. <laughs> but he was in the eyes you could hear in the background. Chauncey Phillips in the pull-up game. And a 31-year-old just rewarded by the Detroit Pistons with a new extension. Kobe filling it up. That time, Kevin Durant on the two-hander. Kobe looked one way, Durant the other. Kobe on the reverse. And 
He's wearing number 10. He had number 27 on yesterday, and I said to you, well, more jerseys to move. When they put the game, they put these teams together with different combinations from the get-go as Matty A scores to see how they would work and how they would adjust. And so you see it's not by position. Kobe is normally a guard, and they have three guards out there then with J.J. Redick and Kirk Heinrich. Redick. And J.J. off the dribble, showing great form. And Mike Miller, the guy who stayed long after practice yesterday. Too long for Kevin Durant. A young man who we saw make a sensational pass. I mean, a very good look inside, known for his shooting. Tayshaun Prince, he's really increased his range over the last couple of years. This is good exposure for Kevin Durant. I mean, to, to get to play against uh, uh, the NBA's best, and this he has yet to play his first regular season game, this will tell him just how much work he is ahead of him. And, uh, you know, he's a very humble, hardworking guy, so uh, he's just happy to be here. He said, look, I root my teammates on. I'm just uh, happy to be involved in the experience. I asked P.J. Carlissimo yesterday. We were at the practice. Sam Presti, they were together as the general manager of the Seattle Supersonics. Tell me something about Kevin Durant. Right away, both said, incredible kid. Wants to work. Just a great attitude. Well, he wants Puts to be the extra great. Time in. He wants it to be great. And uh, that goes along with the work ethic. Miller on the run. He'll get it. He's got it. The two-hander by Mike Miller. Well-traveled early. I guess you'd say a late bloomer and an all-star. Well, definitely a late bloomer. I mean, you throw in MVP in the finals as well. Uh, but he had to find a team that played the style that suited him, and they have found it. How about the pass by Jason Kidd once again? Oh, well, now who's going to pass the ball? So you have a guy that's willing to pass the ball. That means you're going to get better ball movement, better player movement, easier score. Inside the Dwight Howard again on cue, Jason Kidd. And Jason Kidd now has a half dozen assists. Kobe floating on the baseline instead of, yes, he pays off. On the bank on his way down. Almost hit the floor before he released it. And the bad thing about that exchange was Chauncey Phillips had that shot to begin with. and turned it down, then Jason turned down his shot. Aaron Williams attacks, goes to the line looking for the three-point play. Eight-point lead for the white side. James, what a move. Didn't get the layup, goes to the line to shoot two. Dwayne Wade is here. He is doing some light practicing with the team, but, uh, you know, he was part of this team a year ago, wants to be part of it. Again, Miller from deep. Way beyond the NBA three-point line. Unlimited range for Mike Miller. Darren Williams leaves it off. And Kevin Durant on the finger roll. The slingshot of Michael Red. You don't see that form all that often. Kobe. No, you don't see it at all, but he's probably the most effective uh, player in the NBA with that style of shooting. And when he gets hot, I mean, he sizzles. You know, he, he's kind of streaky. He's on a bad streak right now, but that can change with one make. James leaves it off for Miller. He's always found his teammates in Cleveland. Well, uh, you know, the, and the beauty of it is you have a lot of guys that have great individual offensive skills but have great passing skills to go with it, and that makes the game easier if you will just continue to move. Kobe D. Kobe gets the triple. Miller's a volume guy out here, isn't he? Well, he Kobe saves it on the sideline. Kobe back to back. He's got another three. All of a sudden, a close affair thanks to back to back triples for Kobe. LeBron D. Not good. <laughs> it was uh, out of his hands, you could see from our angle. Bosch gives him a second chance on the dive. LeBron, thread the needle. Why don't you, Chris Bosch? Again, Mike Miller. I think it's a lock. He's going to be spacing and available. Kobe, way outside, on the sideline. Kobe again, quick release. Not the same result. So we're down to the final minute. Jason Kidd, the pass to LeBron James. <laughs> a little scoop. Carmelo Anthony splits it. Gets down the middle. Ten turnovers of peace. Again, you better come out. <laughs> 56, 46. Mike Miller's got 17. Carmelo Anthony shows his range. Now they're showing zone. Why they're showing zone? Let's see what the blue team does in order to score an attack against the Amari. At the free throw line. Well, that's second where, basket, same spot. That's where you want to go with your initial pass. Get in there and then let the zone react to that player. Williams, the teardrop and the roll. 
on the curl, LeBron James over the top to Dwight Howard. I don't think they want to get in his way. <laughs> now LeBron with Kobe all over him trying to smack it away. Going to his weak side right by Kobe with the left hand. Amari Stoudemire all through that plan. Back door, Anthony from Kobe. He's been a struggle for Carmelo. Chris Bosh at the opposite side. Did he ever get up there? The two-time MVP was getting all the attention right. about and making it, great passes. And he does. Really show. But I mean, again, this kid is a unique player in his own right and should be applauded for what he does and does well. Carmelo Anthony. Time for the finger roll. Spin by Darren Williams. The recognition this kid was coming. The 23-year-old tried to get it to Kobe. Dwight Howard altered that play. And it's going to be Tyson Chandler on the putback. In the matchup zone, it's deep into the clock. Carmelo Anthony. The three-pointer. And it's given away. Kobe up against Kidd, and he tried to reverse it, blocked away, Heinrich gets it. So, LeBron James trailing the play. Kobe thought he had to deal with Kidd. James stayed there. Beautiful pass by Carmelo Anthony, but Jason Kidd, Kidd saw it coming as he wanted Durant. What a pass by Kidd. Middle three for three, and the lead again for T. White. It all starts out of the hands of Jason Kidd. So you think they've made up their mind who might be their main distributor, huh? What a foul. Durant. Kevin Durant timed it uh, very well. My gosh. On the reverse dunk. Chandler got him. Chris Bosch knew out of his hands. And goes right back with a two-hander. Kobe trying to find some space on the crossover. And on his way down didn't get the roll. They liked it anyway here. <laughs> Kevin Durant, fouled by Battier, <laughs> and Kobe cuts it, just to make sure. J.J. Redick with a nice up pick. Kevin Durant, the quick release. Sonic fans will love that. Looks in the backcourt with Michael Red. Sets it up for a good three-point shooter, but it wasn't the corner shot that Battier prefers. Durant trying to spin over, and what about the baby? Oh. Kevin Durant showing the record for the full arsenal early. Save some big guy. The second half is more what you can come to expect from Kevin Durant. Michael Red from the corner. Red a drive to get there. Minute 47. Left in the third. Phillips. And it's set up for Dwight Howard. Nice play for Heinrich. Yep. Weaved his way to the basket. Saw Dwight Howard at the last second. But he should have taken that shot. But Michael Red. Great stroke. Well, he may be on one of those streaks uh, where suddenly everything he touches goes in. It started out slowly. It's picked up in the last five minutes of the third. Step back for Kurt Heinrich. He's got a long deuce to make it a four-point affair at 81-77. Phillips wants Howard. They converged in a hurry. It didn't make any difference, though. Muscled it home with the left hand. The cleanup by Dwight Howard, who pinned it to the window. Off the miss, Anthony tried to chase it down. The length of Tayshawn Prince got a piece of it. Dwight Howard fouled on the reach. He's okay. And he'll shoot two on the foul by Kevin Durant. Anthony on the run out by Battier. Strong move to the hole. Free throw coming up for Carmelo Anthony. It hasn't worked outside. He goes inside. It started with the Jerry Coangelo going to him and talking to him and saying, look, everything that's gone down in your career in the past, we're past that. We'd like you to be a part of this process, and Carmelo has embraced it, and he's played extremely well. Mismatch. Phillips takes it away from Stoudemire, setting up right on the reverse. 79 over Team Blue, and Carmelo Anthony with a great communication from Darren Williams. Amari Stoudemire. You saw it coming when he took the first step. Opposite end, Dwight Howard. On the pick and roll game, Williams up against Prince. In the mid-range game, Carmelo Anthony. Well, Battier could impact the play. Phillips on the follow-up. Tyson Chandler's length as he packs it out to Kobe. Well, it's a nine-point game with Kobe out on the floor. You're never out of the game, down nine. He thought he got fouled on that play, but got no whistle. Michael Red says, look at I found. It was go out to Darren Williams. Trailer is Kevin Durant. And it's blocked away by Battier. Stays with it. Kevin Durant. He's been in double figures and up to 15 now.
Well, you know, they're, they're not quite as energized as they were 30 minutes ago. So both teams are starting to show some effect to the game. The young fella, Kevin Durant, is showing uh, his medal by coming out there and scoring some points when they're down. And Anthony has stayed hot, stayed close, kept them in the game. Michael Reck. Give him a three. Kobe matching up with LeBron. Follow a three. Mike Miller keeps it alive. Good run on the baseline. How about the touch of Jason Kidd? You know, it'll be Tyson Chandler. Can he hang on? Well, this is a ball that the players are not used to playing with, and it seems to be pretty lively, and uh, they're mishandling it off the dribble. And because of it, they stayed after practice. And in little groups all around the gym at the Cox Pavilion. The three from Kevin Durant. Seven-point game, 3.19 to go. Yeah, there's a run left in them. It's just, are you going to get the ball to the guys that are scoring the ball? Durant and Anthony are the guys that are making shots for Team Blue. Durant showing his athleticism. There was no depth on the baseline. He got behind the defense. Five-point affair, 22 for Kevin Durant. Kobe shooting over the zone. Too strong. Tyson Chandler gives him a second chance. Well, that's what Tyson Chandler did all year long. Anthony with the strength gets fouled inside. It wasn't going to be an easy one with Dwight Howard there. Two and a half left. Nice what a low five. Bosh. Oh, what a two game. The flip by Chris Bosh makes it a five-point lead. What an athlete at that size. Now the crease for Williams. And he couldn't believe it either. Tyson Chandler on the follow. Well, Tyson Chandler kept that ball alive twice, and uh, they were able to get a finish on it. The game stays a three-point game, 101 to 98. His length has made a difference. Uh, the three-point deficit, is it all even? Yes! Kobe with the triple. It is even at 101. What a shot. Out of the deal. Watch out. Blue looking for the first lead since the opening minutes. Kobe slipped down. What a contact. Didn't get a whistle. Five behind, and it's going to be a foul on Darren Williams. Well, what a draft he was a part of, though. That'll live for a while, won't it? LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, he was a fourth overall, but I think Dwayne Wade right behind him at five. Now, there's some bets out there that say that this year's draft was deeper and better and may surpass that one. Kobe on the fall away. Does it? And so Kobe gives him a lead, their first lead since the opening two and a half minutes. Durant now on the floater. Anthony did bring it down. It was off balance. LeBron James is wide open. And it'll be Jason Kidd's first basket of the game. His first attempt to give the White the lead by one. It'll be brought in by Williams and almost lost by Stoudemire. Kobe's got the ball. Tate John French got the job. They flatten out and spread it out. Shading over Kidd and James. Kobe over Prince for the lead. Got it! One point lead, Team Blue. You knew it was coming. Could you stop it? Now, when we were practice yesterday, there was a sense and energy from all the players out there. They knew who the best player on the planet was. He was doing all of the talking, and now you come to close the game. What's your first option, Joel? What's your only option, Joel? <laughs> and what's the result? Kobe Bryant with the lead. And Kobe Bryant is defending LeBron James. They go to LeBron. So LeBron James trying to win it for Team White up against Kobe. On the crossover, into the paint over Chandler. No. It won't go. Tyson Chandler came into the picture. That was a tremendous game. It was exceptional. <laughs> it was highly competitive, what the coaches wanted to see.